Hello. <laughs> I am your resident clueless person when it comes to makeup. <laughs> with one of my best friends who is far from clueless. She is excellent at her makeup. You can go check it out on her Instagram. I will link that down below. She's really freaking good at makeup. She has challenged me to try and complete one of her eye looks on my eyes. So let me just like start by saying again, one, I'm really bad at makeup. <laughs> Two, I have been doing the same style of eyeshadow since I was about 14. It's just basically changed which palette I'm using. Some of them I still have. Three, I have seen pictures of Jasmine's eyeshadows. I have looked at it on her eyeballs, but I have never tried to figure out how she gets what she gets. She's tried to explain it to me before and I am clueless. Anyway, so this is going to be an interesting experiment. We have given each other some palettes, so let's talk about <laughs> what palettes That's That's we've given each other. For my eye look, I kind of have been alternating between a couple of palettes, but this one was a gift from one of my other best friends, Gabrielle. Almost dropped something. And if you'll take a look, it's just some nice neutrals. Yes, very pretty. Wow, lots of shades of brown. And then I have this buxom one that my mom gave me for Christmas a couple years ago. More Again, brown. more neutrals, more browns. Wow. <laughs> and big shocker, we have another palette of browns. <laughs> This one was actually from Forever 21. She wow. loves this palette. There's pan. She hit pan. I have hit pan on multiple colors. This palette I have legitimately had, I think, since I was like 16. Girl! I am now 23. You know powders go bad after, right? Yeah, but like... But they still give you color. Yeah, and I'm dedicated. I love that you only use the browns and then there's like two colors. This two <laughs> yellowier base that I don't use and a slightly red color which I only use in the very outer crease occasionally <laughs> um, so this one has been around for many years and it was bought in the impulse bins which are the bins right before you check out at a store at forever 21 when I was like 16 so anyway here you go Jasmine these are mine huh yeah and then I brought her colored one so I got Two Morphe Jaclyn Hill palettes, the Ring the Alarm and Armed Gorgeous. The Armed Gorgeous one is like beautiful. It has the greens and all the other colors, which the yellow is my favorite. All colors Mary Dose and Dew. And then the red and the gold and the purples, which again, I use this one the most. I love my gold. And I brought her a Violet Voss palette, again, all color with some brown, but she can't use the browns. Uh, I'm gonna challenge her for that. These three. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. And she has colored eyes, so I feel like it'll just make them pop more. I do have blue eyes, but I think traditionally for blue eyes to make them pop, you use like oranges or bronzy colors. Exactly, so you can use that armed and gorgeous one. God. Okay, anyway. So we've already done our base makeup. As you can tell, I do not look like this without makeup. <laughs> Thank you. These are the brushes I have. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six brushes. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot more. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven brushes. Wow, that is almost double the amount of brushes I have here. Well, because you have to blend and like then... Yeah, you're not going to need all this. I know. What we're going to do here is we're just going to give each other a verbal description. So this is kind of like those challenges where people have had to follow a tutorial based only on the sound. Mm -hmm. We're going to just verbalize to each other what we do. And uh, the other of us is going to have to see if we can figure it out. So who wants to go first? <laughs> you go first since I feel oh, like yours no. is shorter. Oh, no. Mine's going to be... Oh, <laughs> Well, like you, you describe first. Okay, okay, okay. For my eye look, I start with a, like, for me, because I'm so pale, like a pinky kind of color is like a base, but usually like a taupey kind of color. Uh -huh. And I put that like kind of all over. I don't go quite up to the brow bone, but kind of all over. And then I do a darker-ish brown shade in the crease. And then I do a, like black or really dark brown at the very outer V. And then I take that down just a teeny bit on my bottom the darker one. line yeah or not the darkest one the darker brown I should say and then sometimes if I'm feeling crazy I'll add like a little bit of color in the crease like where that mid brown color was I'll add like a little bit of color there like like a goldish or like a slight red or something to based on my outfit and then I'll do highlight on the brow bone and then in the inner corner and that's mm -hmm. all all right are you ready to give it a go <sighs> 
Yeah. Take it away, Jasmine! Oh my god. She said Toby, right? She said Toby. So we're gonna do her buxom palette. <laughs> I just dropped that. I'll get that later. Okay. I'm gonna use this color here, the second one, and I'm gonna put that all here, not to your eyebrow. Not to the smoky eye in forever. He's really making me do a smoky eye, guys. I do color. My brushes are dyed because of the color I use. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the darkish one. Here. Oh my god. Guys, I do color in my eyes all the time even if I'm wearing black there's color in my eye and this looks funny I'm gonna blend the crap out of this this is hurting my soul <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore you don't put anything here you don't put anything there oh my god and then I'm gonna go in with the darker one Oh, I'm using a smudger brush from Morphe, guys, because <sighs> Morphe's amazing. Morphe should sponsor us. I'm just gonna... Okay. I should not have done that. I should really should not. I'm gonna blend it in. I think that's how she does her eye. Popping in because I forgot to give her information. In my eyeliner, I just do like a thin line over my eye and then flick it out with a tiny little wing at the end. Oh God. Yeah. So I got four of these for my birthday. My birthday just passed and I'm set. One of them I got from Mary. It's the Gifted Tarte Mascara and it's like the best thing ever. But I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Ink Liner because that's what I have. And really like it. I don't like anything else. Oh my goodness. I usually wing it out all the way. Boy. I think she stops here. I'm gonna stop myself. Oh my god. And I'll put mascara on and then on the bottom because we need to. Oh my god, this is gonna kill me. Jasmine's work. I think it's beautiful, but we'll compare at the end. So what we're gonna do is have her do one eye the way I do it, and then one eye the way she does it, and then I'll do the same so that we can compare and also look like crazy people. I look crazy right now. <laughs> I literally like I'm looking in the thing and it's like now it's your turn to describe your eye makeup look to me. When I usually do an eye makeup look, it's colored. Mm -hmm. So I do transition. So like mm -hmm. any transition that's like your, sh your shade basically. So I what usually... What does that mean? So you can blend out the color. So it's like just kind of what I did the base over the whole eyelid. Yeah. So you're going to put the base first. So okay. Whichever color you want, honestly. And then I go in with the color I'm going to use. But I pack it in here in the outer corner. Let's mm -hmm. say I grab this brush and I literally pack it. Okay. And then I blend it into my crease. Okay. To get the most pigment out. Okay. And then then slowly get another another brush. So mm -hmm. I would get maybe this one and then like transition that color out mm -hmm. up here and then blend it out. Mm -hmm. And then I like my glitters. You know I use mm -hmm. glittery gold or whatever glitter goes with that eye. So if you do a gold from here to like mid and then when you do that get the color again and okay. blend them together so you get a really pretty one. Okay. That's what I usually do. But that's all I do. And then I blend it and then I get the color or a darker color that goes with that and put it under my entire eye. Not just here I go. Oh, and then I, I do highlight my inner eye, but okay. not my brow bone. And I barely started doing, I but I do it all the time where I get the color that I'm using in my crease and I mix it into my brow because it Continues with your contour of your nose. So right here? Yeah, so like blending it in here. Don't get more pigment. Blend it in. It gives it more of a flawless, seamless look. Makeup tips from Jasmine. It works. I'm gonna need all of the ones I can get. Okay. Okay, have fun. Thanks. What color are you gonna do? No idea yet. Alright, Jasmine's dream is coming true. She's been bugging me to do this for months. 
So, I mean, this is pretty. This is also very pretty. Kind of want to use this color on my eye for some reason, but I feel like Guilt Trip is probably something she'd be more likely to use. This looks much more comfortable to me, but that's what's making me think maybe I'll stay away from it other than I might use it for the transition shade, which it actually has one called Transition. So that's helpful. It's good for us noobs. So I'm gonna start with the transition. I'm so used to every time I put color on my brush, I usually like tap it off. I like tap off all the excess on like a tissue or something. So this is very scary just going straight onto my eye. <laughs> oh, that's already too much color for me. I'm so boring when it comes to eye makeup, but that's because that's the only way I know how to do it safe. I think I'm making a big mess of this. So I'm listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks right now and the fifth book in Order of the Phoenix. I think it's Fred or George, one of them is talking about Ron becoming a keeper in Quidditch and he's like saying that Ron isn't doing well and he's like, Ron's making a right pig's ear of things. Is that an actual British term? If anyone's British, can you please like comment down below me and let me know if that's an actual British term because if so, that's wild. Anyway, uh, I don't have nearly as many brushes as Jasmine so I'm just gonna pick one that's slightly tighter to pack. See, like the pinks and browns are like more comfortable for me. So I'm gonna try and go out of that into the greens. <laughs> I'm like trying to like do something that like I actually might wear out, but like at the same time, like part of me wants to just use the super green color. <laughs> I'm gonna use the green color. Okay, she says pack. This brush is packed. Ooh. <laughs> I'm already overwhelmed. I don't wanna look like a Christmas tree. Why did I pick this color? Ow, this hurts. Is that how you're supposed to do that? Probably not. Blendy and crap, I already forgot the next step. I kind of just look like Beetlejuice with eye fungus. And then we're gonna take it up here. Tell me I don't look like I have eye fungus. All right, we're gonna take another brush and no, blend, no. Hold. Well, I know at the end she said to put an even darker color on the bottom, so I'm gonna take this like prowl. That's what it's called. We're just gonna do that real quick. Well, I think. Oh, that doesn't look like enough. All the way across. Holy crap, my eye cracks are tingling. Ow. <laughs> this is going horribly. <laughs> just smile and laugh. Okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna just go in with the gold and hope for the best. You know what, we're gonna use coin, because why not? It's kind of like a greeny gold color. It's this one, it's like a greeny gold color. I could totally be a beauty guru, look at me. And then I'm just gonna Put that in the inner corner. Whoa, wow. That's, is that too much glitter? Off camera tips from Jasmine is to use my finger. Holy crap. I should not have gone with green. I should not have gone with green. But you know what? We're just keeping on going. I feel like I need to put more of this green on. I feel like I'm not feeling it anymore. The gold just like, bam, overpowered it. I feel like Jasmine is sitting somewhere shaking her head at me right now. All right, she also said um, like a darker color in that greasy area, but I don't want to put the prowl because that's like darker. Maybe we'll do smooth, we'll do smooth criminal. Ooh, no, bad decision. <laughs> Abort mission. <laughs> We're gonna rewind that real quick, except we can't because it's already on my eyeball. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I have made a right pink ear of things. <laughs> Whew! Okay, um, we're just gonna blend and pretend it didn't happen and hope that no one notices. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I look like I have poop on my eye. <laughs> we're just gonna go wild today. We're gonna like pump up that prowl color underneath my eye. What? Oh, dang it. Looks like I have bags under my eyes, which I do, but I hid them with concealer. Oh, and then she says she does highlight her inner corner, right? Right? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use VIP. Because it's very bright. Now we're just gonna take this blending brush and we're just gonna like blend, blend, blend and try and make that ugly brown color go away. Um, I think that's about as much as we're gonna do because that's as much as we can handle today without a mental breakdown. And I don't have one of those scheduled until about 5 p.m. I realized somebody forgot to tell me about eyeliner too. I'm like, I usually go all the way to like here-ish. Not where your tail of your eyebrow is, but like right there. Okay, I am using the Ink Liner by Kat Von D in Trooper Black because it is a felt tip liner and I feel like those give me more room for error. That was not a car trying to start, that was the sound I made by trying to make this eyeliner. <laughs> oh, this hurts my soul. 
you know how many years I spent trying to perfect a very simple, small, like, cat eyeliner with, like, a little flick at the end? And every time I would try and do it, it would get so, like, messy, and so i just add and add and add, and then I'd end up with eyeliner like this, except it would be ugly, like it's going to be right now, because I can't do it properly. And I would walk around with that, and now, looking back at pictures of myself, I just cringe so badly. And follow it all the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, wait till you see it up close. Let's put on some mascara now. The mascara I use is the same mascara I've been using for years, except I went from the normal version to the waterproof version because I realized I cry a lot. Ow. Alrighty then! I have baby poop smeared on my eye. Would you like to see it up very close? Feelings? I don't know. This is like, it's crazy to see. I know, right? This is so weird. I keep looking back and forth at myself too. Like, this is like, oh, every day. And this is like, oh, we're going to party. <laughs> if you want to see a much prettier version of what she normally does, like as in colors that she normally likes to use, you should again check out her Instagram because I made her use these army green colors that she hates. She says she doesn't hate them. She just needs to master them. She also chooses the colors I've never used in that palette. Well, I had a lot of fun doing this. Me too. Um, Guys, like and comment if you want her to do this again. Oh my god. <laughs> I could do it again. It's still gonna come out as ugly though. I'll insert a picture here of the eye look that she uh, wants me to try and tackle next time. So comment if you'd like to see that. If you've had fun watching me make a horrible mess of things and watching her and her beautiful mastery of eye makeup, then definitely like the video. Comment down below any uh, future suggestions you want to see us tackle. Maybe that's We're what gonna... we should do. Next time you should do your eye look on me and I'll do my eye look on you. Anyway, this was super fun. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Jasmine and for doing this with me. I will leave some pictures of our before and afters and our comparison images over on Instagram so you guys can get a nice close-up look <laughs> at this beautiful style. Wow. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or any other ridiculous stuff I have going on on this channel, then please subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I've heard that's an important thing to do, although I still don't fully understand what any of it does. I will see you guys next week. Bye!